So, Reiji, uh, do you know, um, um, can you show us some cool features for, uh, for the new product? Definitely. So, this one of the key features of this product is that it's tailored for very, very simple users. People who use a Mac who are not very technically savvy and who just want to use Windows from time to time uh, for productivity reasons. For example, you know, using Outlook or other applications that are not available uh, on Mac OS today. Um, so this product is very simple to use. One of the key features that we have is, for example, this library size here. You, take, you have this window that's taking, us, taking, taking some, some amount of real, real estate on, on, your, uh, on your Mac OS screen today. And if you want to make it smaller, you just resize it and nicely we resize your guests. Right? That's a very nice way to, um, uh, you know, you don't have to fuss and open the, um, the, the, the screen to change the resolution in your guests. All of this happens automatically behind the scene. Another cool feature is the ability to go full screen and also resize these guests. So that's what I just did here. It's very useful when you have two screens. Uh, these, these little babies here, IMAX, have a plug in the back and they allow you to, to put another LCD screen on the side, right? So you can have two screens and more and more people are, are actually have two screens, um, you know, because they want a lot of real estate to do, to do their work. So with this setup, you can actually full screen your Windows VM on one screen and still use Mac OS on the other screen, which is very convenient. You, you switch back and forth. It's really just like having two computers on your desktop, but you really only have one and that, that's this one, that's the Mac. Okay, super. So can you tell us something about uh, cool features like the, the webcam, like yes. USB support? Totally. Um, let me show you another feature right before that. It's called drag and drop. Uh, take, take, take a file inside the virtual machine, for example, this one. Uh, it's an MP3 file. And I'm going to take this file and let me actually try this one first on the host. I'm going to take this file and just drag and drop it to the host. So no first. Just make a copy of the file, that's it. It works in both directions. You can do that with files, with directories, with texts. You can copy and text files, um, copy, and, copy and paste uh, text. Another cool feature is the ability to run, of course, several VMs at the same time, but the latest Vista operating system. Um, uh, right now, we are using the basic uh, Aero uh, interface, uh, so you know, there's still no 3D acceleration here, although we have that as an experimental support in Workstation since 5.5. Um, but this is, this is still cool that you, you, know, you can already start developing for Vista uh, with this product. Um, let me show you what, what we asked for, which is another, another cool feature, which is USB 2.0 support. Um, one, of the hard part to do, one of the hard things to do with USB 2.0 is actually, sorry, let me first show it to you on the host. That's probably a, a better way to demonstrate this feature. Here, right now, we are using the iSight, which is this little web camera here in the computer. In fact, yeah, it's going to be infinite mirror soon. Uh, we see you on the host. This is a host application here. But sometimes there are, the there are devices for which you don't have a driver on Mac OS. For example, GPS devices like uh, Garmin devices um, or, you know, um, cell phone, you know, whatever. Um, so, like, or maybe you want to play you know, your iTunes collection from this little iPod Nano to iTunes inside a virtual machine. So what you do then is simply, let me close this application on the host, you grab the Apple built-in iSight inside this virtual machine just by clicking on this toolbar button. And then we're going we're gonna to connect this device to that virtual machine exclusively. So now you can go ahead and go inside your virtual machine and open the iSight we just showed up. And that's it. Now you're using a USB 2 device inside your virtual machine. Similarly, you could use a Bluetooth device and transfer an image from your cell phone to the inside of the virtual machine. So possibilities are really endless. Another cool thing to realize is that we have ported the whole platform, the whole VMware virtualization platform to this host. So, um, for example, this, v this virtual machine here is an SMP VM. It has two processors in it, right? It's not, we're not talking about processors of the host here. It's the guest that sees two processors. Similarly, you know, all the latest advances in, in guest OS support, such as 64-bit guest OSs, are supported today in this product. Um, let me show you another cool feature here that we have. Um, I'm going to play a movie in, in that VM. It's actually a pretty high definition movie. It's called uh, 720p. Uh, it's uh, it's the, the kind of movie you would play on the on a high definition TV today. Um, so let me start it. It's the it's actually the it's actually a trailer. It's actually a trailer for the latest Pixar movie. Let me resize this so we see it fully. And let's play it. 
I want to show you how smooth uh, movie playing is today on, on, uh, on this platform already. We have barely started to optimize for performance and it's still a beta. So that means, you know, you still have a lot of asserts in this code. So it's, it's slower than what we really release. But still, we can play a video, a high definition video at 24 FPS, FPSs today without, without even saturating the host. Okay, very nice. So can you also minimize this to the, to yes, the task bar? minimize it. Let me show, show this to you. Uh, in fact, I'll happily minimize it while it's playing. Wow, that looks very nice. So are there also some cool features from the new Workstation 6 in this, um, in this, uh, this new, new product for, for, for the Mac? Yes. So let me, let me stop this. This is part of the movie, by the way. It's not, a, it's not a defect. So uh, what you saw with drag and drop, uh, dra universal drag and drop is, is uh, part of Workstation 6. USB 2.0 support is part of Workstation 6. Um, there are other things that are part of Workstation 6 but are less visible, like gener generic platform improvements. Um, but you know, in general, this product is, is using the same code base as Workstation 6. So you get the same nice enhancements to the platform. But you have to understand that this product is a stripped down version of, of what you have in Workstation. For example, this product does not support Teams and it does not support snapshots. Yet you can suspend and resume virtual machine. For example, here. Did I click? I'm going to try click. I did click. Oh, yeah, there. We are suspending the virtual machine. So it's actually a pretty big virtual machine. It might take a little bit of time, but still, we are very, very fast to spin and resume compared to uh, the competition. You can essentially resume a VM in a matter of seconds. See, it's gone already. I'm going to resume a Linux VM to show you uh, how fast this is. I'm restoring the VM. We are taking about you know six, seven seconds, something like that. And there, we are ready to work. So it's just like closing and, and opening the lid of a laptop. You know, it's very effective. You can really switch environments, you know, at any time. So I can't tell you a lot more about the new features that. Oh, actually, there is one more feature that's in Workstation 6 that's available in this product. It's the VNC server, the ability to install any guest OS in your virtual machine, and then you can connect remotely to that guest OS, even if it doesn't have a, a VNC server installed inside the guest. Um, for example, if you're running. Um, it does VM, or you know, or if you are, um, if you're running, a, if you want to trick the BIOS, for example, of your VM remotely, this can be done with the built-in VNC server in VMware. It's also available in Workstation 6 and in this product. Okay. Well, this question, this all sounds very nice. I think we have had the most things, but um, other new features from Workstation 6, like uh, record and replay, would that be possible in this product? Uh, it should be possible, although we will not expose it in the UI at first. Uh, first of all, you know, I have to um, uh, insist on the fact that Recorder and Replay is a pretty young feature. It's being developed on, workstation, on the workstation code base, and so it will be available here. But it, might, it doesn't mean that, it, because it's available, doesn't mean that we want to expose it to the users, right? So usually we let those, time, those features, uh, we let them mature a little bit, we let, we let power users play with them, and it's really, you know, Right now, uh, record and replay is something that's extremely powerful, but it's also something that is very compelling today only to developers. Um, you know, casual users, uh, you know, non-technical users are less interested by that feature. It's, it's very important, you know, in the development world and also in the, in the high availability world. But for the normal user who just wants to use VNs to actually do some work, um, as opposed to securing a VM, um, it's, it's a lot less important. And so this product is more, you know, oriented towards people who will use uh, a Mac at home or at work to access uh, the network, the corporate network with Outlook, for example. And so we don't want to put too many features that um, would be uh, just fluff for, for them. We don't want to make the UI too complicated. Um, so it will work if you want to um, re uh, record and replay because the platform is there. But you'll have probably to tweak your uh, VM config file to, to have access to these features, um, your, 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 VMX file, your .VMX file, right? Okay. Well, thank you very much. That was all I wanted to know. So uh, merci beaucoup.